Hello, I'm Lucas, technician at Dynamic Audio, and this is a quick tutorial on how to use the TEC A3300SX reel to reel tape recorder. I'm going to start by turning the device on uh, via the power button, and depending on whether you are using large or small reels, you select the large or small reel knob. Uh, what this essentially does is it changes the uh, torque of the motor, uh, so don't put it on small reels when you have um, large reels mounted and the other way around as it might damage your tapes. So we're going to leave it on large. We will be recording on 15 IPS, which will be the high speed setting on this device, uh, so we'll leave that as well. Um, the line in uh, is adjusted here. Um, the inner potentiometer controls the left channel in uh, line in, and the outer potentiometer controls the right channel line in. And this is your simple uh, left right output potentiometer. All right, I'm going to turn on the music. And in order to start recording, you have to make sure the output is selected to tape or source, depending on what you want to hear. So we're going to move it to source, and we can see, uh, we can hear if our recording is actually running. Now that we've confirmed that the music is actually coming into the device, uh, we're going to make sure that we set recording mode, left and right, if you want to record on both channels, to on. And we're going to start recording by pressing the record and the play button together. You can pause your recordings by pressing the pause button and it will continue recording once you click the forward button again. Alright, let's say we finished our recording, we can spool back our reel of tape on its appropriate reel by pressing the return key. Now that we have the reel of tape, I will now demonstrate how to uh, mount this tape. So every recorder has its own unique tape path, but it's usually the same for both brands. So let's say Akai has its own tape path, TIEC has its own tape path, and they share a lot of similarities. Once you get the hang of mounting a tape, it's pretty easy to do and you, you get good at it quick. So, this is a tension lever. We have to make sure this passes under, or the tape passes over this lever, and this will maintain tension while the reel passes along the heads. And this is perhaps the most important step. We have to make sure that the tape is actually between the rubber roller, known as the pinch roller, and the capstan. This is what actually drives the tape and regulates the speed of the tape. And then we go under another uh, tension lever here. Make sure your tape is not twisted, so it's all the same side. And the dull side is the side you want to be recording on. So the dull side has to be facing up against the heads. Now there are various ways on how to secure 
your tape to the take-up reel. Your take-up reel is your empty reel. Uh, some uh, reels have a little gap here where you can fit it through and it will usually stay in there if you press on it and um, wind on the reel. This reel does not have that. So what I like to do is I hold it between two fingers, my thumb and my middle finger and ring finger. And I don't know if you can see this. I slowly reel back the tape until only the end is showing and it has reached my thumb. Now, while keeping tension on the tape by uh, slightly holding the other reel, I will turn this until the little lip I was holding has passed under the next layer of tape. Now the next layer of tape will hold that in because you've held tension. And now your tape is secure. Give it a few more reels to be sure it, it sticks and it doesn't unwind. And that is how you mount a tape. Now we can resume recording or we can, for example, uh, fast forward the reel. The color just changed. The first part of a tape is actually the leader. You cannot record on that. So in order to make sure your recording actually starts when you want to, you have to make sure that you, your leader is not uh, on the heads uh, at the moment you start recording. So now that our dull side is facing up and our shiny side is at the bottom, we can start the recording again. Let's see if there's music on. Let's take another track. This music is all from the YouTube um, open source sound library. This one is called I've Got a Baby Sister. Record and play. 